We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014 in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Dr. Amr Badawi, who is a board member of the National Telecom Regulatory Authority of Egypt and is also a professor at Cairo University. Dr. Badawi, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Yeah, it's my pleasure. I'd like to start off by asking you about this conference, the World Telecommunication Development Conference. It's once every four years. Why is this conference important? Well, this conference is important because we live in a rapidly evolving world. And uh, that world, uh, we have technology, is increasingly uh, effective and it's increasingly uh, uh, shaping that world. And uh, because of the difference in economic standards in different countries, uh, that technology is starting to create a digital divide, a gap between uh, the haves and have-nots. And the ITU has realized this and uh, started a lot of developing programs to try to narrow that gap. Narrowing that gap is extremely important for world peace and stability. And accordingly, uh, this conference happens every four years where it discusses current issues that uh, are uh, that would affect this ne this uh, digital divide and make sure that uh, it uh, initializes programs or initiatives that would help the world uh, in and especially the developing world in catching up with the developed world in that respect what are some of the regional concerns for you regarding broadband and sustainable development uh, Egypt has developed a national broadband plan and it was announced back in November 2011, and it was done by the NTRA. And that plan uh, was very comprehensive and looked at all the aspects of uh, introducing broadband to Egypt with very specific targets to uh, get broadband to all citizens, wherever they are in, in, in the country of Egypt. Uh, one of the major concerns is the infrastructure. Infrastructure that is required to carry all this expected huge traffic uh, coming from all different parts of Egypt and uh, going on the, basically on the internet uh, to, uh, uh, which will provide connectivity between Egypt and the world. So that's one major issue. How are we going to develop the infrastructure? What's the best way, the technologies that, that are going to be used? Uh, so that's one issue. Another concern that has been growing everywhere is the cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is a real concern right now. And it's very important to make sure that uh, cybercrime uh, is fought at all levels. And uh, Egypt has been active in that and has established uh, a, a CERT uh, in, in Egypt since 2009 and has been active and has been quite successful in, in stopping some of these crimes. But uh, the cybersecurity can really, uh, you know, hamper the uh, development of, uh, of the uh, broadband in any country. That enabling environment definitely includes digital content development. And without digital content, broadband is just like a, a big highway without cars. So if you don't have digital content, then we end up not using broadband and we end up uh, investing a lot of money with no return. That's one example. So the enabling environment also uh, is to provide uh, a, you know, uh, training for people uh, and uh, to develop uh, services uh, like e-government you know, e services. Uh, we are looking for broadband uh, in Egypt and I think many countries are looking uh, for broadband for two main and very important uh, applications. First is education. I personally believe that uh, education currently uh, has to be transformed from the old ways of having uh, paper books into new ways where students would use uh, e-pads to access all the knowledge that they need, all the curricula that uh, is set for them, and provide sort of interactive education that would get them to understand and uh, change the way they're educated from being just uh, you know, information gobblers to creative thinkers. That's very important. The other uh, area is also e-health. Uh, in most developing countries, 
uh, they lack the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the presence of experienced physicians. And it, modern technology based on broadband can provide remote medicine. You can have a, a, an expert a physi a physician who can help the, least, the, the less ex expert uh, physicians in remote areas or even nurses to help the patients and probably identify and uh, uh, recognize the symptoms of certain diseases. So I believe this is, these are two areas that uh, developing countries are in need of and that will help really improve the quality of life for uh, all citizens everywhere. And finally, what outcomes would you like to see from this conference? I think uh, outcomes such as, uh, you know, um, I know that there are some uh, resolutions and some uh, uh, papers and, and questions asked about, you know, the, the different subjects like uh, cybersecurity, like the uh, infrastructure, how to promote infrastructure, uh, capacity building. We need to do capacity building for, uh, for uh, you know, IT and the telecommunication technologies and uh, we have to have inclusion for all citizens. It's very important that the whole society gets involved. It's very, it's very dangerous to have separation within the same society uh, where people know, get into the digital world and people who are outside it. And uh, that would uh, increase the social problems by increasing the gap between the, the rich and poor in this case. We are looking for resolutions that would help least developed countries and countries in special need like landlocked countries on how they can get to, uh, to have their basic needs of telecom and how they can be connected to the outside world. Dr. Badawi, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Okay, thank you. And thank you for watching too. Thank you.